Hello, I'm Devin Helms with the VPlex and RecoverPoint team. And today I'm going to talk to you about VPlex, RecoverPoint, and Viper and how these solutions come together to create a simple to provision, continuously available environment. Now for a lot of customers, the chain of events to create a storage element is a very long process. It typically starts with a request coming from an application owner or an enterprise user. That request would specify the type of storage required to meet a certain level of IOPS. It might, it might specify the availability required, the replication required, and specific capabilities of the storage array itself. The request comes in and the first thing that's done is a storage volume is created. Typically this is done by a different person in the organization, a storage administrator. That storage volume then has settings specified to it. This might be tiering, this might be uh, thin provisioning, or it might be snapshots and clones. The, the request is then handed off to somebody who's going to provision the replication for the storage element. This replication might also include continuous data protection for the environment. And then the storage request is handed off to somebody who would configure continuous availability for the application data. This might be for a single site or it might go across multiple sites. Now this process can typically take over 40 steps to actually accomplish. There's usually a lot of time spent by human hours in doing each of these steps. And that also means that across 40 steps, there's a good chance for human error to be introduced in the process, breaking the chain of provisioning and creating risk that your storage element is not provisioned with the settings that you need. Now EMC has recognized this challenge and has developed solutions to help customers address it. Viper, along with VPlex and RecoverPoint, provide a easy to manage, easy to provision, end to end, continuously available environment protected from outages. When an end user requests a storage element, they can come to Viper, which provides a service catalog. This service catalog has predefined levels of service for a storage element. In this case, we might have a customer that wants to provision application storage for a test and dev environment, so they're going to set up a bronze level of storage. This bronze level of storage might be on a VNX array, without any fast tiering specified, that uses continuous data protection for replication, and that is mirrored across two sites for continuous availability. When that profile is specified, Viper instructs VPlex to create the volume on the VNX arrays. VPlex then following Viper's instruction mirrors that data between two arrays at two sites, as was specified in the profile. Next, Viper goes into the array and specifies any of the array level settings. This might be things like snaps and clones or tiering. In this case, there weren't any specified. The next step is Viper tells RecoverPoint to create a continuous data protection replication of the array data, of the application data. This entire process takes approximately five steps and is done in just a matter of minutes. And more importantly, it reduces a lot of the risk that human error can introduce into the process of provisioning. But the benefits don't stop there. Once this storage element is provisioned, and as it continues to operate throughout the life of the storage element, there might be a request for a change. For example, in our, in our example, this was a test and dev application. This might at some point need to be a production application with higher levels of IOPS and more protection. The enterprise user might specify the application to go from bronze to gold, representing a higher level of performance. That gold storage element might be on a VMAX with fast tiering enabled and continue to offer CDP replication and two-site continuous availability. Viper then instructs VPlex to take that application data and move it from the VNX arrays to the VMAX arrays. Because VPlex can do this process without disrupting host access to the application data, even during the move, this process can be done during work hours on production workloads. Viber then specifies the new storage settings on the array, including tiering, snaps and clones, and any of the other elements that are provisioned. Finally, Viper instructs RecoverPoint to map the CDP volume for continuous replication to the new array location, continuing to provide that, non that continuous data protection. 
And again, this is all done in just a matter of steps, in just a matter of minutes, eliminating the risk of human error and done non-disruptively. So if you're spending a lot of time on your provisioning process and a solution like this would interest you, contact EMC or visit us at our website, emc.com. Thank you.